Well, hi, everybody, and good Thursday morning to meteorologist Travis Klineski here as we continue with the very quiet weather around these parts. But we do see a warming trend now over the next couple of days. Still somewhat chilly this morning, not as cold as yesterday morning for most of us, but we're still seeing a lot of 40s to around 50 to start things off. Should be a warmer day, though, today with mainly sunny skies as winds turn more southerly, but they won't be overly strong for most places. We'll see temperatures mostly in the 80s. We could still see a few upper 70s across the northeast. Overnight tonight, not as cool. We'll fall back into the 50s for overnight lows with mainly clear skies. And then tomorrow, a lot of sunshine again and warmer conditions yet. Widespread 80s and, in fact, a lot of mid and upper 80s for your Friday as... Uh, Rain chances then do start to return by Friday night. The chance is not looking great heading into the weekend, but there are chances of light rain sprinkles as we approach the upcoming weekend. And we'll keep those warmer temperatures around. Highs later on today, upper 70s and lower 80s up north, mainly sunny again. Not too much wind out there for today, but more of that southerly direction to the wind out there today. Mid and maybe even upper 80s out towards the west, mainly sunny skies. In the south, we're looking at mostly low to mid 80s, upper 70s in Aurora. And then off towards the east, upper 70s and lower 80s with lots of sunshine and winds only 5 to 10 miles per hour. Next seven days, Again, a lot of low and mid 80s through at least the middle of next week with lows on the warmer side, mid to upper 50s, lower 60s. Again, those minimal chances of rain late Friday night through the weekend, uh, off and on chances. They're not looking overly great. Probably our best chance may be Saturday night into Sunday. Even then, again, I'm not expecting much rainfall. There's not really not even going to be much thunder in that in this, so I'm not even putting down thunderstorms as there may just be a few claps. There's not much instability here this weekend, so don't expect any kind of strong or severe weather out there. Uh, again, don't count on much rain. There are signs that maybe as we get towards later into September, after about the uh, 18th or 19th, we may start to see kind of a wetter weather pattern return, but that's still over 10 days away. And there's also signs of maybe more of a cool down as we get towards that time frame as well. But temperatures will be near or above average over the next seven plus days. And speaking of uh, looking forward to the weekend here, of course, a lot of people looking west, Oregon, Nebraska. Nebraska will be traveling out to Eugene, Oregon to take on the Ducks. Expected for a uh, 3.30 kickoff central time. That's uh, 1.30 Pacific time. Of course, the big concern over the last couple of days has been the air quality due to the uh, wildfires fires in the Pacific Northwest. The air quality was absolutely terrible in Eugene, Oregon on Tuesday. In fact, it was just downright hazardous according to the air quality alerts. And uh, it was downgraded yesterday to unhealthy. That's better. The Ducks did practice in Eugene yesterday. They were, had to practice about an hour away the day before. So that's good news that maybe conditions are improving a bit. Still some question marks, though, as to how things may play out on Saturday. But as of right now, hoping that that game will go as normal on Saturday. As for the weather out there, temperature-wise, uh, looks like they'll actually cool down a bit. It looks like mostly 70s during the uh, game. A little cooler, of course, in the morning hours if they are going to be heading out west tailgating a little early. Otherwise, light winds, partly cloudy skies, not expecting rainfall there in Eugene, Oregon, which is kind of in the west southwest parts of Oregon, uh, south of Portland. So um, anyway, hopefully air quality will stay a little better out there in western Oregon for uh, the weekend. So there you go. There is a forecast here as we look forward to the weekend here in Nebraska and of course out west. Of course, all eyes on Hurricane Irma. Still a very strong hurricane, 180 to 185 mile per hour winds. Uh, it starts to make its way towards the uh, Florida Peninsula as we get towards this upcoming weekend and possibly towards the Georgia, South Carolina, North Carolina coast as we move into early next week. So there, that covers pretty much all of it. Of course, you can count on a little bit more of a reliable Hurricane Irma forecast from uh, uh, some of the national outlets. I mean, I have a little bit of information and of course I'm kind of tweeting things out uh, from Hurricane Irma updates as well throughout the day. So there you go. There's your forecast for today. Until next time, I'm meteorologist Travis Klineski. Hope you all have a great Thursday and God bless.